Lighting is an important component of a 3D rendering. Not only does lighting make your scene look visible, but it can help set the mood and make your renders look appealing. In this video, we're going to look at the different lighting types in Blender. To add lights in Blender, you simply press Shift A, Lamp, and select the light that you want. So let's now go through these different lighting types. So I've arranged my scene in layers. So I've put a light on each layer just to make it easy. And we'll just discuss them one by one. So I've put my main scene on the first layer. And let's first discuss the point lamp, which is on this layer. So with the point lamp, the light shines from this point in all directions. So think, for example, a campfire. So let me just change this to the cycles render. Use nodes. I want to use a black background for this. So if I just put the point lamp around here and change this to the rendered mode, you can see our lighting taking action. So you can so you can see that the light is being shined from one point around the entire scene. So point lights are obviously great for things like campfires, for example. The second lighting type is a sun lamp. The sun lamp shines light in one direction with uniform strength everywhere. So it doesn't matter where you place the sun lamp, the light is always going to be the exact same everywhere. Um, however, rotating it is going to change the direction of the sun lamp. So as you can see, my sun lamp is there and simply moving the location does nothing. However, if I rotate it by pressing R, you can see the shadows being changed. You can see the shadows getting larger and larger. And I've sort of created like an evening sunset type of effect there. So you would use a sun lamp to simulate outdoor lighting or sun lighting. The next light is the spot lamp. With, with a spot lamp, the light shines from one point in one direction. So you would use this for things like a stage lighting. So let's have a look at this example. It simply shines a light from that point uh, straight down in a cone shape. So next up, we have the area lamp. The area lamp is just like a point lamp, except the size is much bigger and the shape is a square or a rectangle. If you just change the settings here, you can uh, choose the whether you want a square or rectangle. And if you choose rectangle, then you can specify how long and wide you want your um, area lamp to be. Uh, this type of lighting is used to create soft lighting. So a point lamp tends to create sharper lighting, whereas an area lamp tends to create soft lighting. So this is good for uh, window lighting or indoor lights or studio lighting, that type of thing. The final lamp, and you might be wondering, well, we've just covered all the lamps. Well, we've got one more. We've got a plane. Now, you might be wondering, how can a plane be a source of a light? Well, it can be. With the new Cycles rendering engine, we have a new shader type called Emission. And if we look at it in rendered mode, we can see that this 3D mesh emits light. So an emission light source is where the object or the 3D mesh itself shines light. So this would be good for things like fireworks, so where you have particles shooting out little, little uh, UV spheres, you can make those light sources and, and thereby simulate fireworks. Or you can use it to create like god-like characters where you know your character actually emits light. As you may have noticed, all the other lighting types, you can't actually see the light source, whereas with a, with a emission light source, you can actually see the light source itself. All right, so that's, those are the main lighting types in Blender. But before I end this tutorial, I'm just going to cover one more thing. So most of these lighting types have one thing in common. They have size, maximum bounce, color, and strength. The size indicates um, how large the light source is. Note that the larger the size, the softer the shadows will look. And the smaller the size, the sharper the shadows will look. So let's have a take a look at an example. If I just turn this to rendering, and I change the size to something like 0.5. You'll notice how soft these shadows tend to become. Um, 
if I turn it to like say two, those those shadows start to become really really fuzzy, and look and really start starts to simulate really really soft lighting like you see in studios. However, if I want to create really sharp lighting, I have to turn the size value down. So you can see now we've got really sharp lighting. So that, this applies to most of the other lights as well. The maximum bounces uh, is pretty much the maximum number of bounces that the light rays hit off an object. Uh, could be good for photorealism if you want physically correct lighting. However, for most cases, I don't really touch that as much. So moving right along, the color. This changes the actual color of the lamp. So if I put a blue, you have blue light. If I put red, you get red lighting. And finally, strength. This determines how intense your light is. So if I put this value down, your light will be very, very dim. Yet if I put it up, it'll be really, really bright. You can control the strength or the intensity of your light just by changing the strength value. And this applies to all the other lights. So if I go now to, uh, what, what light do I have here? The, oh, the, the sun lamp. So the, the same things apply to this. So if I change the size here to 0 0.01, we get really sharp lighting. Let me just rotate that so we can see the shadow better. We get really sharp lighting. But if I put the size to 0.5, the lighting starts to become really fuzzy and blurred. And we have very smooth, soft lighting. And that pretty much applies to all the others. Now, for the spot lamp, we have an extra setting, the spot shape. Here you can control the size of your spot lamp. So let's go to render. And if I just change the size, you can make your spotlight big or you can make it very focused and small. And the blend, uh, this controls how sharp you want the edges of your spot lamp to be. So if you want a very softish spot lamp, you just put up the blend and then increase the size. So you have that sort of soft spotlight. And if you put it down, then you get very harsh focused spotlight. Um, show cone, this actually worked in the old Blender internal render. It doesn't work with the Cycles render engine. Uh, you need to add volumetrics and things like that if you actually want to see the light rays of the spot lamp. This feature might actually be working in the newer versions of Blender. However, at time of recording, I'm currently not aware if there's any feature like this at the moment or if it's currently in development. The area lamp has another extra setting as well. Uh, you can control the size of your area lamp. So if you want to make your square bigger or smaller, you just change the size value. And this obviously will control, again, the softness and the harshness of your light. So from a, if I make it very, very small, so that means you have a very tiny square, 0.1, your lights will be very, your shadows will be very, very sharp. However, if I make the size of it very big, so a big square, as you can see here, um, the shadows will be much softer, as you can see right there. So that's that's physically correct, because if you have a very small size, um, the shadows are obviously going to be very, very uh, sharp. However, if you've got a really, really big light, the shadows don't have much room, because there's light everywhere. So there's not going to be much room for shadows, and it will, it will tend to be a lot smoother. You can also change from a square size to a rectangle size. And you can change how long you want your area lamp and also how wide you want your area lamp. So it's customizable in that way. So I hope this tutorial has been useful to you and that you've learned something interesting. Um, keep blending and I will hope to see you in the next video.